This is an R-rated play. The following audio play was recorded in front of a live studio audience. Pop-Up Theatre presents More Tea, Hitler by Scott McQuaid. That's quite enough of that, thank you. The year is 1945. April 29th, as the Allied forces converge on Nazi Germany, the most wanted man in Europe, Adolf Hitler, has managed to escape Berlin across the border into Belgium. In the small village of Snodsbury, just outside the capital, a British command post occupies a local farm. Their mission, espionage, sabotage, reconnaissance, intelligence, and the weekly grocery run. Morning, Colonel. Perkins. Still a bit frosty out there, sir. I'm afraid I have some rather bad news. Oh. Your wife, Betty, is dead. But I'm not married, sir. Oh, must be someone else's bad news. Put the kettle on then, would you, old boy? Yes, sir. I say, the men are awfully excited about a visit from Wing Commander Barbara Jenkins. After all, she has escaped three Nazi concentration camps. It's very impressive. Yes, I suppose what would not be so impressive is being caught three times. There you go, sir. Thank you, Perkins. Our allies are closing in on Berlin. The war's coming to an end. I can feel it in my body. Sorry, that's my leg rubbing up against yours. Morning, Colonel. Morning, Major. Morning, Penny. I mean, uh, Major. Sleep well. Not especially, no. I heard the dog pacing up and down just outside my bedroom all night. It was panting. But we don't have a dog. Oh. What time did you go to bed, Perkins? Uh, uh, um, what, what's going on in the world of communications? Heard any chatter about Hitler? No, but the Germans are running low on supplies. One soldier named Hans won't shut up about sausages. Bratwurst? Yes, and very annoying. So, how are the men's spirits, Perkins? Oh, they're very high. Well, I did warn you that it was strong stuff. I got it directly from Amsterdam. No, I mean they're excited about Commander Jenkins leading them into Berlin. Glad to hear it. Have you seen my cock? <laughs> well, it is a small men's room, so when you're standing next to each other, you can't help but... I just can't find that damn bird. Oh, your cockerel. Gone off wondering about the farm again, has it? I'm afraid so. I woke up this morning with a cock in my face. A regular occurrence, I'd imagine. He was just sitting there on the pillow, staring at me with that one eye. That be Bernard. He lost one eye in a cockfight. I've never seen a cockfight. Join the Navy. Morning, all. Morning, Wiggins. Private Wiggins, have you seen the farmer's cock? Yes, but not by choice. <laughs> Bernard's like a brother to me. Hmm, the last time I saw a cock was when it was prancing around your bedroom, Major. Yes, my bedroom has seen a lot of them. Well, it is situated from across the barn, so naturally, they'll all walk about. I just can't think where you might be. Did you check the barn? As I recall, you like to play with your cock in there. <laughs> ah, that's true. We've shared some good times rolling about in the A. But no, that'd be the first place I checked. Oh, I wouldn't worry. I'm sure that cock will spring up somewhere soon. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I'm sure you think of something. Hmm. Suppose I could always go fuck that pig. <laughs> That's the spirit. Right, Major, let's have that daily briefing. <laughs> he always wants to see my briefs. <laughs> oh, I'd like to be a part of that too. Fuck off now, Perkins. <laughs> We've got work to do. Yes, Colonel. Come on, Wiggins. Uh, I was just wondering if any of the posts has arrived. I'm expecting a letter from my mother, Betty. Uh, let's go for a little walk, shall we, Wiggins? Major, I don't want to alarm you, but I think I've seen a mole in our camp. 
Is it the one on Wiggins' cheek? No, that's a birthmark. And how did you ever get to see Wiggins' ass? A mole! Here in our camp! I can't believe it! How do you know this? I heard it from HQ on the radio. With my ears. Extraordinary! I know, but there is something far more disturbing at hand. What is it? Last night I saw a man from my window. A man? Yes, I awoke in the middle of the night and walked over to the window using my legs as one would. And there in the field, I saw a man <gasps> with a moustache <gasps> molesting a scarecrow. <gasps> Are you sure? About the moustache or the molestation of the scarecrow? Well, both? I am sure of the man I saw, and judging by the poor state of the scarecrow this morning, I am sure of that too. What course of action would you like to take, Colonel? Absolutely none. Ah, I see. We wait it out. Yes, we wait it out. Like any good politician, pretend it never happened. Although I'm sure deniability will be much harder for the scarecrow. Mum's the word, then. Not for that scarecrow, probably more who's your daddy. Colonel? Yes, Perkins? We found this chap sleeping behind a pig pen. I think he's a local, as he doesn't seem to be able to speak English. Heil Hitler! Yes, he's definitely foreign. But from where? Deutschland über alles! He sounds French. Nein! Yes, I think you're right, Major. Could be a Parisian. Must have lost his way. Poor chap. Hmm. What is your name? The Englander! You know, I think I've heard that name shouted on the battlefield. Colonel, I just realised who this man is. Who? Well, isn't it obvious? The scruffy, torn uniform, the black hair and that tiny moustache. You don't mean... Yes, it's Charlie Chaplin. By Joe, she's right. But Charlie Chaplin's British. Why is he speaking a foreign language? Well, he did move to America. That will do it. Heil Hitler! I think he's complaining about his arm, sir. He keeps raising it when he shouts. Yes, I think you're right. Perkins, have him taken over to the infirmary. Yes, Colonel. Wiggins? Sir? Take Charlie here over to the infirmary. Yes, and once he's done, bring him back here. We'll give him something to eat. He's probably starving, the poor fellow. Heil Hitler! He's in a lot of pain. You better hurry. Well, I think I'll get a little shut-eye. As you were. That's the toilet, Colonel. Doors over there. Ah, that explains the reading material. As you were. Tea? Yes, please. Penny? Perkins? Do you remember... Brussels? Of course. I still remember the last place we kissed. On the mouth. Yes. Let's turn on the gramophone, shall we? If you must. Do you like music? No, but I like this. I can't hide my feelings any longer. Each day it gets harder and harder. I can see. It's lifting the cup off the table. Oh, I'm sorry. We must learn how to control our emotions. After all, there is a war going on out there. But Penny, I've never felt like this before. I feel happy, but dizzy, energized, but sickly. It's the tea. We've been using the same tea bags for the past two weeks now. Penny, can I hold you? Perkins, we mustn't. Just one kiss. Well, 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 what do we have here? Uh, Commander Jenkins, I uh, was just uh, reviewing the Berlin route with a lieutenant here. Reviewing? What, with your tongue? So, who do we have here? Perkins. No, that's just my bra, it appears that way. No, I, I mean, I'm Lieutenant Perkins, Mum. Oh, are you now? Well, I'm sure your mother's very proud. Are the men ready? Yes, Commander Jenkins. Come now, Penny, we've known each other for years. Call me Barbara, or better yet, BJ. That's what all the men chant when they see me. Camaraderie, I suppose? Perkins, assemble the men in the field. Yes, Mum. 
Wiggins? Yes, sir? Assemble the men. Who was that sorry excuse of a soldier? That was Private Wiggins. Hmm, well, I shall want to inspect all the privates today. Oh, you'll see them in all their glory. Are these privates scared? A little tense, a stiff bunch, but once you get to know them, they soon loosen up. That's a load of barracks. I beg your pardon, Mum. I'm saying, you have a lot of barracks assembled there on the field. Oh, yes. Uh, B, J. Won't you sit down? I'm sure you must be very tired from your journey. Yes, thank you. Good God, what was that? Bernard! What? You sat on the farmer's cock! Who told? Uh, he's talking about the farmer's cockerel, Commander. Bernard's dead! Who's Bernard? The farmer's cock. I hate it when they name it. Lieutenant? What is it, Wiggins? I have Charlie out here. Oh, good. Send him in. Yes, Major. English a schwein! Study on that chap. What's his problem? B.J. May I present? Charlie Chaplin. Well, I never. It is truly an honour. <laughs> Miss Kell! What's he saying? We aren't entirely sure. He doesn't seem to be making any sense. Well, that's Hollywood. They've put him in so many silent films, he's forgotten how to speak altogether. It would appear that way. Yes. Charlie, would you like a cup of tea? Heil Hitler! I think that's a yes. How many sugars? Nine! Whoa, that's a sweet tooth. There you go. Thirsty chap, isn't he? Yes, looks like he's taking his medication with it. Probably a little pill for his blood pressure. Is it normal to foam at the mouth like that? Well, he was hungry when he came in. That doesn't look good. Quickly, check his pulse. He's dead. I said them tea bags were bad. What are we going to do? We can't have the body of the most famous film star in the world found in a British base camp. The press will have a field day. What will the colonel say? He'll never find out. Perkins? Yes, Mum. Pick up the body. We'll take it with us when we storm Berlin. We'll find a bunker, throw him in there, and blame it on the Jerry's. What about Bernard? Oh, I suppose we'll bring him to. Come on, spitzport. And so the British entered Germany's capital with the corpse of Charlie Chaplin and a dead cock. The Allied forces stormed Berlin, and as they say, the rest is history.